Earlier this week, I was delivering some Power Query training and somebody asked me this question. I have an Excel file that's pulling data from another Excel file that's stored on a network drive. But we're moving from network drives to SharePoint and I'd like to know if I can easily connect to the file on SharePoint or do I need to recreate the connection from scratch? Well, in this video, I'll show you a simple fix that saves you having to create the query again. This is my HR report file. The data is pulled in from another Excel file and that file is stored in a folder on the company's network drive, or at least it was. Last week, there was a big migration and all files have been moved to SharePoint, which means when I click refresh, I get an error. To fix this error, I need to update the query behind the scenes so that it points to the file in SharePoint. So I'm going to click OK to clear the error message and go to Data, Get Data, Launch Power Query Editor. As soon as I open the query editor, I get an error message to say it can't find the file. So I click on the source step over on the right hand side and click on the little cog wheel to the right of that. Then I can click on browse, but that only lets me connect to a file that's on my local drive or any network drives I have access to. So that's not going to work. I'll cancel that and cancel that. What I need to do is go into SharePoint and grab the URL of the file. So here I am in SharePoint. I've navigated my way through to the folder that contains my file. I need to click the three dots just to the right of the name of the file. And from the menu that pops up, select details. That opens up a panel on the right hand side. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you've got a section that says path. Just to the right of the word path, there's an icon. Click on the icon and that lets you copy the link to that file. So I'll do that. At this point, I can then go back to Excel. I've still got the query editor open, so I need to make sure that I'm on the source step, but I don't click the cogwheel. I need to directly edit the code that is in the formula bar at the top. I need to replace the word file with web and then I need to replace the path to the local file or the file on the network drive with the path to the SharePoint file which I've just copied so I can paste that in and press enter. At that point it might ask me to log in it might say invalid credentials it didn't here because I've already logged in and now it's working. If I navigate my way through these steps, we don't get any errors. Then I'll come out of the query editor by clicking File, Close and Load. And just to check it's worked, I'll click Refresh All on the data menu and I shouldn't get an error. I hope the video helped you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.